Okay guys, so there's this story making wave about a beauty queen, a Nigerian beauty queen, ex Miss Anambra. Well, she's ex now because she has been stripped of her title. About people call her the cucumber queen. There's a story about her being a lesbian and a lesbian sex tape of hers out in where she was, you know, video doing some lesbian stunt with her partner who's also a beauty queen with cucumber. Why would you do that to cucumber? <laughs> Anyways, um, that's not the story though. The story is why would, why would a Nigerian, somebody who's a celebrity of some sort, involve herself in something like that? Okay, what we don't know is that video actually was made before she became a beauty queen. Now, the, the thing is, the, the whole story that has been circulating around that issue is she, um, business gone wrong she she was the, there's this chief that's what they call called him because there's no name he has been anonymous there's no name attached to the whole thing but this guy actually sponsored her winning the miss anambra title it, he, they said he paid two million naira for her to win and then you know her wardrobe or makeup before the pageantry after and all of that and so what happened is after the whole thing Chidima decides that she 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 probably saw bigger things and she wanted to move on to big things and then this guy said don't you dare because I'm going to take you down and then Chidima says oh no you can do anything to me I'm past that now and then she doesn't want to do the whole business you know everything and then this guy says okay I'm gonna show you what I can do so he decided to release a sex tape that she made um, before the whole thing happened now initially the first tape came out and Chidima says no that is not me that is Photoshop although that kind of look real though because I mean Photoshop can't be clean and you can use Photoshop on a video come on and then she said that's not me and all of that. And then, okay, they said, oh, you want to be cool, you want to play smart and all of that. So they had to release another one that shows her face clearly. Yeah, she couldn't deny that. So she had to come out and say, okay, everybody calm down. I actually did this, but um, this is not what I, this is not me. I usually don't do this. This happened because this is the agreement we had. Now, people have said the Miss Anambra pageant is actually a scam because, first of all, it's not recognized, it's not recognized, and then, secondly, they actually prostitute their girls. That's not my story. That's what they said. That they actually prostitute their girls, they make them you know, you have to go out and get sponsorship, and each person has to sponsor with a hundred thousand naira. Now, how many people? can actually come out and just give you a hundred thousand naira to sponsor a show and each girl has like 10 forms you see that one million naira and so before you can get people to do one million naira, you have to do some certain things and then they said girls that couldn't get up to one million naira you actually automatically dropped that's like a criteria for you to move on to the next level and all of that and then then you actually finally win you have to be like um you did bronze girl you know what nigerians call bronze girl you have to go out and do this and do that and do that and then she said say i'm not caught out of this anymore i don't want to do this anymore and they said no you can't leave and she said no i can leave and then all of this happened and all of, and they actually had to strip her of a title before she could actually hand over we all know that for pageants when you have to hand over on the day of the pageant where you have to give your sash and your crown to the next queen but her own handover was done indoors no um no media nothing just indoors she just had to give her a sash and a crown and all of that and people are saying if this is not a scam if there's no hidden story to this if you don't want all of this to come out if you don't want to be implicated in all of this why would you do an indoor thing she has said i'm ready to come tell the truth but people are threatening my life so i just have to stay back and not say anything but this is not me it's not me calling the shot and all of that so uh and then I missed all of this though. What's surprising is I missed all of this. She has been nominated for an award, Award of Excellence. For they said it's because in the face of everything that is happening, she still remains strong and she still keeps going. She wasn't weighed down. So she deserves an award for excellence. I don't know why. I don't know how. But they said it's Queen of Gold. I want for excellence as Queen of Gold. I don't know. I don't know what all of that is. But that's the I would. I would. I mean, Nigerians are like, why would you do that? Why would Nigerians always try to capitalize on something? People are saying, oh, they want money. They're gonna get money from her and all of that. They just want to, okay, take the negative side of all this thing and bring positive side. I actually appreciate it though, trying to bring a positivity out of the negative thing. But 
and a word for excellence that's just extreme to me that's what i think and we all know uh, saying a flavor decides to capitalize on all this thing he <laughs> Okay, he, he released a picture, a photograph of himself, and then the caption for the photograph is, um, he wrote something in Igbo, but the English interpretation for it is, I add to the mask cucumber. <laughs> and people are like, why are you trying to mock her and all of that? I just think, he's just trying to have fun. You guys leave him alone. And you should stop doing things to cucumber. Come on, for cucumber lovers like me, you push should stop doing that they actually saying they want to release a, a new video if she keeps denying and saying this is not me this is not they said she's an adult and everything was done with her consent the video was done with her consent because her parents and her were saying they want to sue the management of uh, miss anambra the pageantry and some other people they want to sue them and so but they're saying you don't have a case this girl is an adult she was an adult when all of this happened. It was done with her consent. She agreed to it. She wasn't drugged. She wasn't forced to do it. She agreed to do it. So what is your case? Why are you trying to... You don't have a case. So let's just settle this thing off media. Just settle it. I mean, you know, just talk. Let's just talk. Let's just talk and put all of this together. But I just think Nigerians, girls, should be reasonable. You should think ahead. Foresight people have foresight if you're gonna do something think about it think about the implicate a sex tape Do you know how far a sex tape can go and it's not a regular sex tape. It's a lesbian sex tape Be wise people be wise. Although there's another lesbian story about um, City FM OAP. Okay, um, so this this girl, uh, she's been saying that oh, she doesn't want what happened to Chidima to happen to her. She, she has come out to say, this is what I did. I did a sex tape years ago. I was stupid. I was just trying to experiment. But somebody's trying to blackmail me now and say he's going to release a sex tape. So if this comes out, was I stupid? Yes. But am I still doing it? No. And all of that stuff. And then the guy says, I didn't even know you had a sex tape. Why would you want to put me in all of this? Okay, so you had an issue with your lesbian partner and then you want to put me in the middle of this. No, you're not going to do that for me. So he's, he, he took the case to the police and they, they went to City FM to arrest her and all of that. And then she's saying, I'm so sorry. I was just trying to get myself out of this, but I didn't know I was wasting the case and all of that. Okay, but the bottom line is, if you want to do something, like I said before, just do it right. Think about stuff, think about the future, think about yourself. Don't be carried away with the spore of the moment thing and just do stupid things. It's different if you have a nude picture, but a sex tape, come on, how can you make a sex tape? A lesbian sex tape for that matter, in Nigeria. No way, it doesn't work. Anyways guys, I don't know what to say to you girls, but whatever you do, just be smart about it. That's all I'm going to say.